Tiger is now more than halfway towards his childhood dream of beating Jack Nicklaus's career record of 18 major championships. You've just turned 30 recently, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, many people say that golfers peak in their 30s. Your best years are ahead of you. Hope so. It's my intent. How long would you play competitively? That's a very easy answer. When my best isn't good enough to win anymore, I'm gone. I'm racked the queue and I'm going home. I could never deal with the fact that as hard as I prepare, as hard as I concentrate, and as hard as I play, I play my best and it's not good enough anymore. Accept the reality and, and move on. Tiger Woods' power on the golf course is unrivaled. Here it comes. goodness but at the age of 30 he says he's ready to make as big an impact off the course just as his father Earl has predicted for years oh, wow. this February Tiger opened the first Tiger Woods Learning Center in Anaheim California close to where he grew up welcome to the center what's up man how you doing how much man? hello hey there hey there <laughs> what's up has become part of the vernacular. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Usually, what's up, dude? <laughs> it's been over four years from dream to reality. How cool is this? Oh, man. It gives me chills. You kept saying, how cool was that? How cool was it? It was really cool. Uh, I mean, see those kids, the smiles on their faces, and they're totally into it. Um, it's more than I ever expected. What the kids are into is a curriculum and a facility that's nothing like their own schools. The 35,000 square foot center is more like an educational funhouse filled with computers, flat screens, and video and music production facilities. And of course, a driving range and putting green. Well, that's not very good. <laughs> Why are kids so important to you? Where does that come from? I guess because I had so many people influencing my life, I wanted to cater this foundation to mentoring and, and guiding because that's ultimately how I got here. Besides the support he got developing his golf talent, Tiger remembers when he was a shy grade schooler who needed help coping with a devastating stutter. The words got lost, you know, somewhere between the brain and the mouth, and it was very difficult. Uh, but I fought through it. Uh, I went to a uh, school to, to try and get over that. And I just would work my tail off, and I would talk to my dog. And, and he would sit there and listen, and he'd fall asleep, and <laughs> that's fine. You just lay there. And I finally learned how to do that without uh, stuttering all over myself. Experiences like that one drive Tiger. He put more than $5 million into the Anaheim Center, a prototype for facilities he wants to build all over the country and around the world. Because this is so near and dear to my heart. This is more important than and any golf shot than I could possibly hit. But wait a minute, you, you make a living playing golf. I mean, golf gives you the, the, the wherewithal to do all of this. Golf's the platform. Um, golf is what I do. It's not definitely not who I am. I am so proud of him more than anything. More than anything he does in golf? Yes. He helped other kids. Nobody gives Tiger anything. He have to earn it. He have to do it. So the kids, when you give them a chance, opportunity, they can do it. Tiger can pay for all these centers because he earns so much money playing golf. He's made more than $70 million on the golf course alone, and his outside income is estimated at $85 million a year. He's the most recognizable athlete in the world. His name and image are a global brand linked to blue chip companies like American Express. Bottom line? Tigers on the verge of becoming golf's first billion dollar athlete. But he keeps his money in two different piles. I always spent what I earned on the golf course. The contracts are, are one thing. I guess that's, a, I guess that's earning it in a, in a different way. But I went out there and I earned the money that I, I got on the golf course. And that's what I spent everything on. Um, I would never go above that. Lately, he's bought an estate on the Florida coastline and a yacht that's bigger than most houses. So success has changed some of his spending habits, but not all of them. 
I'm a little cheap. You do have that reputation. I'm tight. I mean, because I, I never had a whole lot growing up as a kid. I always had to save. Then I'd buy like one big thing, like a pair of basketball shoes or something like that. But I'd have to save up my allowances. So now the allowances are bigger. And the big things are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> the boat. Mm -hmm. How much was a boat? Uh, a lot. A lot. Yeah. And the new house? A lot. For someone with such a high profile on the golf course, Tiger keeps his personal life under wraps. What's the name of your boat? Privacy. <laughs> was that your idea? Yeah, it was. He wouldn't let us visit him on his boat or at home, and we didn't get to talk to his wife, Elin, a Swedish model and au pair, whom he married 18 months ago. But he did open a door to his married life just a little. I have found a life partner, a, a best friend. Uh, you know, Elon's been incredible for me. You want kids? Oh, without a doubt. How do you think that would affect your day job? Family always comes first. Always has been in my life and always will. Tiger says he wants to be known for his work with kids, but most of us know him best for his work on the golf course. I love to play golf, and that's my arena. And you can characterize and describe it however you want. But I have a love and a passion for getting that ball in the hole and beating those guys. And if we were to play ping pong, your, your goal would be to? I'd beat you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't, you'd really be? We'd, we'd do it again. <laughs>